y'all, Doughboy here. I'd like to interrupt this intro and explain a little bit about this series you're about to, to see. This series is going to be very special to me because each episode in this series is going to be dedicated to somebody very special to me. Friends that I've met through this YouTube experience. Whether it be somebody that who got me started or someone who just means a lot to me has helped me out through the way taught me something um you know one it got me going influenced me role models that type of thing each individual episode at least until i run out of people to thank is going to be dedicated to a specific person so i hope you tune in i hope you enjoy and i hope you will go check out those people as i introduce them to you some of which you probably already know probably already admire and check out their channels so i know you all are getting ready to meet cletus but before we do that as i said each individual episode is going to be dedicated to somebody but also the whole series is going to be dedicated to somebody very special to me it's going to be dedicated to a friend of mine who I've got to know, who I started watching, and who got me started in this role play game, which I just love to role play in my series. So, before we meet Cletus, I'm going to play a little audio clip for you and see if you can see if you can um, figure out who this series, not episode, series, is dedicated to. Roll the clip. Did you figure it out, y'all? Let you listen to it. Yep, that's right. This series is dedicated to my great friend, Jerry Taylor, also known as Grizzly Bear Sims. I started watching Grizzly Bear, and I tell you what, his fir the first episode I got to watch it was on a uh, Stevie map his Gold Crest Valley remake and I tell you what I started watching and his role play was just phenomenal he really just did a great job with it and of course there's others that came along the lines after him but I tell you what his just stuck out and then I got to meet him not not in person mind you but got to chat with him and he is just a down home good old boy and we hit it off, and you could almost say we're brothers split at birth. And I just enjoy talking to him every chance I get. And he's just a great, good old guy. He taught me how to make my channel a G-rated channel. And that's a lot for me. I'm a truck driver. So to keep it G-rated has been a challenge. But I tell you what, I would not do it any other way. And that's why I like his channel. His is completely G-rated. It's fun to watch. You have fun. And it taught me you don't have to be negative, derogatory, have bad words, or any of that to just have a good listening and watching experience. So, Grizzly Bear, thank you for everything you do. Thank you for taking me under your wing and teaching me along the way. And thank you for producing a great, cha a great channel. I hope you enjoy this series as it's dedicated to you. And I just, again, thank you very much for pointing me in the direction and inspiring me to enjoy this game and add role play to it and just have fun. So everybody, go check out Grizzly Bear. And in the meantime, sit back, enjoy, and let's meet Cletus T. Weiler. How about it? Howdy folks, Cletus D. Weiler here, and you'll be joining me on this little series we got going on. Got grinded myself a gear. I'm not used to this talking to you all while I'm trying to drive. Just leaving work here. I work with my brother, and we were up there discussing some things up at the farm. We'll get back to that here in a little bit. Anyhow, what's going on here? Well, my good friend Doughboy, he uh, had a a video team following him around and hey the series was such a success that they decided they wanted to bring on some more farms and we had ourselves a little misfortune of events around here and well 
let's just say we lost everything. Yeah, so we have to start from new. Ooh, man, I almost missed that curve. We got to start from brand new because we lost everything and they thought, well, you know what? Maybe it'd be good. Let's see if we can't film this this farm team here and as they rebuild their farms. So that's what's going on. You'll be riding with me and my brothers through the next set of episodes on this here farm because, well, we own just about every farm in this here valley because we're a big family. So we'll be introducing you to them as we go. Um, yes, yeah, here I am. I'm not, I, I'm not used to this whole talking thing and trying to drive it. Well, I think I, I might have missed my turn. Uh, I think this one's coming up. Well, I, well, we can get there this way anyway. So, yeah. Oh, man, grinding mess up. Man, I might not have a transmission left after all this. Well, and like my bro, back to the story. Yeah, we were talking about my brothers. Well, got a bunch of them, and like I said, every last farm, we lost everything. The me, 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 meteor, me, the... The weathermen, they don't even know what was going on. Some say we had ourselves a bunch of hurricanes. Some say we just had ourselves a bunch of rain. Well, we live here in the Mississippi River Valley, and whatever happened, it rained an awful lot. And we lost all our crops before we could harvest it, so we have no hay, no straw, which meant we ended up losing our critters. Oh, they're grinding? Oh, my. Anyhow... We lost all our critters. My brother lost his pigs. My other brother lost the cows. So we got to start from scratch. You know, we had to get rid of the cows because couldn't feed them. We had to get rid of the pigs, the sheep, everything. Couldn't feed them. We had to get rid of them. So we have to start from scratch, and that's what you guys are along for the journey. Oh, well, here's my house. We're going to turn it on in here, and we'll just continue on rambling and talking. So let's talk about my brothers. Well... My name's Cletus T. Wilder. I'm not the youngest in the family, but I'm not the oldest either. And what? Well, T? You want to know what T stands for? <laughs> it stands for tiny. And let me tell you, I'm everything but tiny. <laughs> yeah, I can put Santa Claus to shame. <laughs> Anyhow, my other brother, we got a brother named Ken Baby Wilder. Well, guess you figured it out. Yep, that's right. He's the baby of the family. But he ain't no baby either. He's a pretty big boy too. And well, you gotta be a big boy to be able to tackle the farming he does, folks. He handles the hog farm. Takes care of them piggly wigglies. And I tell you what, if you've ever been around some pigs, them some stubborn critters. Well, he's a stubborn boy too. So he takes care of them, and we'll meet. You'll get to meet these individually. That you know, like I said, you'll be following them around their farms. My other brother takes care of the cows up there, and let me tell you what, that's no small operation. Our cow, well, it's a commercial operation. We're talking. He had 1,500 head when he had it there. His name is Jerry Grizzly Weiler. Takes care of our cows, and that's where I work because it's not a one-man operation. By no means. A lot of milking going on. And, well, he's got fields to take care of too. So, Grizzly? You ask what's going on, you know, how he got Grizzly? Well, <laughs> nah, he's one of the biggest teddy bears you'll ever learn. Until you upset him. I reckon I definitely don't recommend that. You upset him, and let me tell you, you will see the Grizzly got another brother going up the road he takes care of all the bailing in this here area he's our bail contractor that's Bobby Buck Weiler how'd he get Buck well let's just say he had a run in with the old Buck once we'll uh, we'll save that story for another time next brother I got his name is Clyde Cooter Weiler it would be one of the oldest boys. <laughs> Some say I'm pretty slow. I may not be the, the sharpest knife in the block. But I tell you what, you ask me. If I'm not the sharpest knife in the block, I think good old Cooter's the block. 
I'll tell you what, you all can, you'll get to meet him on down the road here too. We'll let you make the decision. Who's the sharper of the two? <laughs> Anyhow, I love him to death though. I tell you, Cooter give you the shirt off his back. And I don't know how he does it. Good. He's got one of the biggest farms here in the area. He does a lot of contract farming. He owns the biggest fields, the biggest equipment, and he knows how to run it all. You'll see my equipment here in a little bit. I got some of the older stuff. I enjoy the older stuff, though. But I know how to run his stuff, too, and I tell you what, that Green Star GPS thingamabob that's in them tractors, well, you almost got to know how to program a computer to do all that stuff. But he knows it, and he's got it. He handles a lot of a harvesting. I got myself a harvester too, but you'll see that in a little bit. It's an older one. But he handles some of the bigger harvesting. He's got the new fancy stuff. Then we got my pops. His name's Buck. And he lives across the, the valley over there, across that river. He's got an older farm. And, well, you'll get to meet some of him. You'll meet him and ride along with him too. And he definitely... He, he's stuck in his ways. He likes his older equipment. I thought mine was old, but his is older than mine, so you'll get to meet him and ride along with him. Let's take you for a little tour here of our farm while I keep on rambling him. Got ourselves a John Deere skid steer here. Doing a lot of work around the farm here, moving our, our wool pallets and stuff. That's right, we're the sheep farmers. We got sheep on the back here. That skid steer comes in handy. While we're walking over here to the barn, I'll tell you about another buddy of mine. He does all the mowing in the area. He's got, does the big fields, got the big mowers, and handles the, the township roads and all that stuff. And, um, don't want to ask me what his first name is. See, I'm horrible with names. Told you I was a little slow. But we all call him Duck. And he handles all the lawn care and specialty mowing. Well, this here's our farm. Uh, one of our barns here on our farm. It's empty right now as you can see we gotta get some bales in there so we're gonna work on that here there's our John Deere tether right over there that does a lot of good work and man I think that it's just sharp Whoop, we're not gonna go that way I need to get the good old wee whacker out here we're gonna take a shortcut walk on over here got ourselves an old spreader oh there's the pupper dog man he's just having a good old time got ourselves an old plow and disc and corn planter back there and grain drill and that's what we're going to be out here with here real soon got to get that plowing done so you're going to ride along with me here in a little bit we're going to get some plowing done got our john deere baler because we like to do some of our own but when it gets out of the hand we'll call them in got our harvester back in there too told you it was a little old one we'll walk over here and check out our tractors now oh, there's our seed storage and Got our fertilizer storage over there and the grain bins out there in the back. And what's that? Not an old case or mass? I don't know, but it's about the best place for a red tractor. All broken down, stuffed in the corner. <laughs> yeah, that's right, guys. I'm a John Deere. I like them green. You guys, oh, guess I opened up the door and opened up something else there. We'll, we'll get, just get rid of that. Figure this out and get on in here. Anyway, gonna open up the tractor door, tractor shed here, and get ourselves out of tractor and go get some plowing done. Ah, get on in here, turn the light on. Oh, there I go again, opening up. That. Get rid of that. We'll just shut the door up. No, can't do the light, man. Uh, I got something a little too close. I have to fix that a little later on. See if we can't get this door closed anyhow. Oh, it's talking. Oh, we'll just leave her open. We got ourselves. Told you. I don't have the newest and greatest. 4755 right there. Does a, does a great job. Got ourselves some cab overs. 4955 two wheel drive right here. Got ourselves a two wheel drive 4955. Now we're going to use this one here today. Let's get this door open. We're going to use this 4955 and do some plowing. See if she'll do it. Sometimes she don't like to do it, though, folks. Depends on the train of the field. Well, 
let's just say we got ourselves some hills in here. I don't feel like digging out the big one. It's a good day. I like to feel that wind. So we'll take this one out and we'll see how she does today. Let's show you some fields here that we own. So may as well better tell you them right now. We own field 25, 26 right here. 26. We own 27, 28. And 29 up here. And we also own field 40 down there across the way. But we're going to start in field... I think we're going to go 25. We're going to go the one right here around the farm. I don't know. I don't remember my numbers real well all the time. i got to pull my map up every once in a while and check it out. But We're going to do the one right here by the farm. Get started with that one. Let's just get her in gear here. Yeah, we're going to do 27 right here off the side. Come on, Betsy. There we go. Gotta find the gear. Told you. This here talking thing while being videoed. Well, hell. That's gonna take some getting used to. Moves it on over here. Gonna hook up our plow. She ain't the prettiest thing. Ain't the newest of things either. But she does get the job done. Set the emergency brake on here. Definitely don't want the tractor to run us over while we're off here hooking this up. There we go. Big old cinder block down there on the ground. Now to climb over it. Now to move them. Pull this thing out of the shed. Don't want to hit our pupper dog or our chickens up there. Go on. We're going on off there and have some fun. I know you was earlier. These chickens, I tell you what, they just roam everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna get this here field prep. Oh, that's a bit of a hill. Yeah, like I said, though, I work up there with Grizzly on on the cow farm. It's a commercial operation. We we provide milk and products to just about all the every place in our town and neighboring areas too. I was up there. We were finalizing a deal. Noble hooked us up with one of his buddies there, rubber burner. He's going to hook us up with some straw and hay and whatever he can spare for a good price. We sent him a check. Doughboy's sending a driver on up there up into Canada to, to pick us up some, some bales. So hopefully they'll come in soon. We want to get our critters back so we can start making some money. We got to get our fields ready here. I'm going to back on up here. Hopefully I don't take out my fence. We're going to get our fields ready and start getting planted because... Well, got to get a jump on things here. Granddaddy once told me if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself because you ain't going to do it and nobody going to do it. Fields don't plow themselves. Oops, put her on the wrong side. Got to turn her over to this side. See, I told you, this whole talking and video thing, hey, yeah, yeah, I need to get used to that. People say I can't chew gum and walk a straight line anyhow. <laughs> well, probably can't chew gum and walk. That's why I don't chew gum. <laughs> Let's get our GPS set up here. Now you might be wondering, and you're right, this tractor don't come with that fancy green star GPS thingy for Bob that my, uh, my buddy Cooter and my brother Cooter has in his tractor. But we do have ourselves a GPS. It's one of them cheap, all, you know, ones you get. You plug in a cigarette lighter and it has its own little screen and built in antennae. And, you know, not the best in the world, but she sure does help you keep a straight line. 
that's all about making sure you keep straight lines and keep your rows right. Well, you know, you don't want to be, you want your rows right and straight because when you come out harvest time, well, you don't want to miss any. You want to take advantage of every acre you've got. We're going to get on down here. I know y'all don't want to listen to me ramble on about this, that, and everything else, so. I will shut up, I promise you. And you can watch, we'll just uh, give you a little music to listen to and let you ride with me while I plow these fields. We're going to get turned around here at the end of the field and set up our GPS again for a long stretch. I'm going to put that little row in there so I can have a little bit of turnaround loop. See what goes on on up here. Be pulling is pretty good. The ground's nice and dry. It's making some good rows, so we ain't getting stuck. If I gotta switch out the four wheel drive, I will, but I just don't want to do that. I like this track. Good old girl. This thing set up here now. I think that looks straight out of it. Don't go on up the road yet. Hope you enjoy the scenery. I sure do love my town. Like I said, we live in the upper Mississippi River Valley here. It's got some great rolling hills. Sight lines are just phenomenal. We've got ourselves some good old area here to farm. Some small fields, some big fields. But look at that girl. I tell you, I like this older equipment definitely do. Down there is our church. That's where we go on every Sunday morning get ourselves some preaching on and take a little time with the family, you know, and try to get there every Sunday anyhow. Try not to work too hard on Sundays. It's my day, my day of rest. See, look at those views. I tell you, just enjoy it. Over there, I'm not so sure. That might be my brother. That's Grizzly's cow farm over there in the distance, I do believe. Well, you heard me rambling on enough, I'm sure. We're going to get turned around here and I think I'll be quiet for a spell. Oh, yeah, don't want to drive down in these ditches. I took, ooh, ooh, and almost took out the pole. <laughs> I'd better be quiet for a spell and get my job done, or I'm not going to get it done right. But, uh, yeah, we'll be quiet for a spell and put on some music and just let you enjoy the time. We'll see you.
Well, I hope you all enjoyed riding with me while I plowed this here field. We're going to get this here thing cleaned on up here. And before we call this an episode and I'll let you go, I think we're going to head on over there to the barn. We're going to get the other tractor out a while and get it set up with the fertilizer spreader. I'm going to let the wife or one of the kids come out here and fertilize this here field before we move on. We're going to move on to the other fields and we'll just get the tractor ready for them. Because we've got to fertilize on before. Before we can cultivate, run the disc over this here field and get ready to plant. We're out of manure, folks, because like I said, we got rid of our critters. There might be some manure on up there at Grizzly's farm, dairy, but, well, that's his. So we got to spread some fertilizer on down here. And, well, we can't get started on it ourselves because, well, we're expecting a delivery here this afternoon of that gran gran granule, gran the dry stuff, the dry fertilizer, the powdered stuff. We're going to put that there in the spreader and we'll just let it get on spread all over this here field and then we'll cultivate it in with the disc and, well, keep on moving on. Now I'm going to come down along this here fence. I hope it don't take the fence out. It's pretty close back on there, but get this here field done. And like I said, we're going to get moving on and pick this up and go get that there ready for them. I hope you enjoyed riding along with me, and, well, <laughs> like I said, I may not be the sharpest knife in the block, but hopefully you all going to have some fun. We sure will laugh. Look at that holler down in there. That's a great old hunting holler. We put a tree stand up there in one of them trees, usually that one right there in front of us. Just watch them fields and watch these fields and down in the holler. I tell you what, we got ourselves some good old buck out of that there holler. Some good doe running around in there too. I enjoy me some hunting. Got to get the field work done first. All depends on the harvest. So we're going to go on over here and get that there tractor ready for him. And I don't know if one of my boys and one of or my daughter or my wife. Whoa, I forgot about that hill. Whoo that was fun. <laughs> well, like I said, <laughs> we're going to get ourselves in here, get that tractor ready, and get her set up. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope you're going to enjoy riding along with my brothers, meeting the family, just having a good old time. Let's shut this off. Don't need to waste our diesel. And I hope you get to meet everybody and have some fun. And I hope you stick with us as we go through this here. And I hope you'll enjoy it. I know I sure will. It's a lot of fun farming. I enjoy it. It's my life. Let's get this old girl fired up. Boy, she sure does purr. Ha. <laughs> Love me my old tractors, I tell you pull one out here and we're going to hook this fertilizer spreader up. So folks, like I said, I hope to see you at the next episode. I will work on this whole talking and driving and while being videoed thing, hopefully I'll get better. But until then, we'll see you at the next episode, y'all. Have a good one. God bless y'all. Till next time. Well, guys, this here's Doughboy. I hope you enjoyed meeting Cletus T. Weiler. He's going to be a fun one, don't you think? <laughs> I tell you, wait till you meet the rest of the boys. But like I said earlier, this series is dedicated to a good friend of mine, Grizzly Bear Sims. His information is down below. Make sure you go check him out. Tell him Doughboy sent you if you haven't already checked him out and become a subscriber. But I tell you what, if you have it, you don't know what you're missing. So go on over there, subscribe to good old Grizzly Bear Sims, tell them Doughboy sent you, and enjoy. Because I know you will. We're going to get this fertilizer spreader hooked up. Watch him as, he, as Cletus hooks it up. But I hope you guys enjoy this series. I know I enjoy making it. And as long as you guys enjoy watching, I'll continue to make them.
But until next time, you guys take care of one another. Take care of yourselves. Stay out of trouble. Happy farming, y'all. And God bless.